Hi viewers, welcome back to another episode of Indies Education. In this video, I will demonstrate a table lamp assembly. This is a complete assembly and all the parts I have drawn from scratch myself. Siemens NX11 software has been used to draw all the parts and this assembly. This is the actual assembly of the lamp you can see in the picture. Uh, this lamp actually was in my hotel room uh, back in during my stay in Eindhoven, Netherlands. Uh, uh, by the way, many of you home don't know what uh, where Eindhoven is. Eindhoven is a city in Netherlands, lovely place. People who like actually like technical stuff and uh, want to use it and grow further. Uh, this is the place for you. Um, I have met uh, lots of people with marvelous uh, entrepreneurial mindset um, and technical skills uh, and very cooperative, I would say. I would recommend you to at least visit this uh, lovely place uh, with lovely people in Holland at least once in your lifetime. Uh, back to the point. Yes, we are the first part. I will start with the base plate, which uh, you can see um, I have already uh, drawn it uh, basically in this feature. I'm just gonna um, turn on all the features one by one so that you can see that um, how did I draw it? Then uh, I will discuss uh, some of the constraint option. Um, obviously, there are many constraints, and I don't need to discuss all of them. I think it is sufficient enough if I can just show the basic principles of how they work. So, the first part, as you can see, I start with the base part. How did I do it um, when I I just go uh, simply uh, add part uh, which is already in the library so if I get part number LP001 uh, no this is the wrong part I would say uh, LP001 so in this case um, I would choose the option not by constraint because this is the first part and this is the fixed part of it on this case I will go for absolute origin and uh, then I'll go OK and apply and that would give me this part of the assembly. The next part would be the mount uh, of the table lamp. As you can see this is the mount I have got here. In this mount I um, the way I did it same again is from add the parts I have already drawn and have created the library. So from that library, you can see all of my parts list. So I put LP001 and put uh, basically in this point, uh, I would choose not only for these parts, but also for other parts as well. I would choose uh, by constraint. It is not the absolute origin uh, absolute origin is the fixed part and that should be um, more or less uh, only one part it can be it can vary on different uh, configuration for different drawings but for these drawings is certainly the base plate is uh, the part which would not move other than uh, all the parts need the mobility so in this case how to how do i mount it i would first choose this part the base plate First of all, I choose OK, and uh, then the constraint option come. I will choose touch and align. First, I will touch and align with this part, with the uh, hole, with the inside of the this this area, and uh, then I will align with the center line. Okay, back to the drawing again. Uh, so this is the part basic. Basically, that's how I put it. The next part is the uh, support side arm, uh, which you can see, and I have already fixed it in its position. Uh, the parts would next follow as the support arm, in the middle support arm. So the both parts are connected uh, at uh, the hinge, and uh, you can see the center line um, I have already put it for the reference so that I can make it symmetrical. And by the way, it's a very important when you do the assembly, uh, you must uh, maintain the uh, WCS coordinates and uh, the datum plane. 
in this way it, uh, it is much more efficient to draw and uh, it's much more easy to make a uh, rapid 60 degree degrees of freedom now if you put f5 that will go away and if you put here is like um, if you put move then basically you can drag and uh, move this part in any point so this is uh, you can see it's moving in uh, 360 degree direction and uh, the next part would follow with the connect shaft the connect shaft i have already put it with uh, in relation in relation to the reference line and the next part would follow as the bottom shaft the bottom shaft i have you can barely see the bottom shaft i have put here uh, this place is actually reserved uh, for three springs uh, uh, with uh, the hinge operating spring will be connected with this uh, bottom shaft uh, and with the subsequent part uh, it will come it will be coming next as you can see the next one is the washer um, this is very basic uh, um, part of the assembly so uh, i can go to the home view at any point which is easier to see how did i draw all these parts and uh, now this is the third washer i put the assembly the third washer now uh, I have assembled uh, the cap and uh, the mounting cap with the mounting shaft and uh, then the next part is the hinge which will be connected with the lamp and then, then the final part is the lamp as you can see it is here but obviously it's not uh, properly aligned uh, for this option I will just go move so from this point as you can see at the moment now i would recommend you to see my other videos and help in this to grow further in this is a brain farm startup aim to plant ideas and innovation to the brain of mass population where being in technical field we come across many revolutionary ideas and startup uh, where individuals have limited time to think about it the solution is uh, you plant it to wider mass population to grow it further. Here comes the play of mind farm. Anyway, be with me and no more. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks.